at 7. There's a new grassroots effort to keep you safe on the road. The Western Hills Viaduct Coalition is holding its first ever meeting right now. The city and county have pledged $33 million each to replace the aging viaduct. Nine on your side's Ashley Silka spoke with an organizer about what the coalition hopes to accomplish. I was in this exact spot on the day falling concrete hit a truck. It's not uncommon to find big chunks like this one here on the lower deck. But finding the money to replace the viaduct is the big issue. Back in the uh, early 1900s, uh, the west side neighborhoods needed a new viaduct across uh, the Mill Creek. And so they created basically a, a coalition back in the day to get the one we see here now built. Now, decades later, Henry Frondor formed today's Western Hills Viaduct Coalition. Members are holding their first public meeting tonight. 55,000 cars uh, that go over the viaduct every single day. Um, I mean, that's huge. The viaduct is clearly feeling its age. It was built in the 1930s. Its only major upgrade happened in the 70s. Engineers say the viaduct is structurally sound, but crumbling and obsolete. The city and the county continue to spend money uh, putting band-aids on the viaduct, and it needs to be uh, torn down and have a new one built. This is video from last July. A truck driver's windshield was hit by concrete and shut down the viaduct for hours. That accident got the ball rolling. The city and county have put aside $66 million for the project. But Frondorf says they still need a lot more money to replace the viaduct. The typical grants with state or feds is 80-20 uh, grants. And so that's what the city and the, and the county were trying to do was find that local match. He hopes the coalition will put pressure on state and federal governments. Right now they don't expect to have the new one open until 2028. Um, I'll be an old man by then, All right? So part of this coalition's uh, intent is to speed that process up. Frondorf says the coalition's goal is to work with both the county and city and not against them. Tonight, engineers will give an update on the project. Ashley Zilka, not on your side.